guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video welcome back to my car you know it only means one thing when i'm sat in my car we are going on a little shopping trip and today we are heading into poundland i've seen on instagram that they do the most beautiful mercury stained pumpkins that light up it's the ideal kind of pumpkin that i've been keeping my eyes peeled for in home since tk maxx this year obviously we all know that their stock hasn't been the best, which, what can we do? Hoping the Christmas things um, come into home since TK Maxx because otherwise we're going to have an entire year of missing out with the home sense festivities. In fact, I have already made my first Christmas home decor purchase from home sense and it was one of those things that was by itself so i just feel like you've got to grab it while you see it because who knows they might not have christmas deliveries at least it's not as big as last year but anyway we're not talking about home since tiki mats today we are talking poundland so i'm going to keep my eyes peeled for those pumpkins any last minute home decor bits for halloween and christmassy bits as well and then of course anything that i do end up picking up i will haul them at the end of this video and show you what i end up getting so if you haven't already make sure you're set and relaxed and comfy with a nice coat drink sit back relax and I hope you enjoy so I thought I would start with the Halloween and Christmassy bits first so first things first with the Halloween I was really impressed with their selection of little trinkets and home decor bits just in case you were interested the poundland that I went to on this occasion was in a town called Burnley in Lancashire if you're local and you wanted to check it out yourself so I did manage to pick up a couple of Halloween bits, which I'll obviously share with you later on in the video. I thought those little light bulb decor things for 50p were a pretty good bargain as well. They also had some glitter pumpkins that you could easily paint or DIY and these wreaths as well. I did really like this glitter tree for three pounds. I thought you could maybe hang some decor pieces on it as well. But personally, I just think I wanted to avoid glitter this year just because you know what it's like, it gets everywhere. This candle was pretty unique as well. Apparently as you burn it, it bleeds. So it must have some kind of runny consistency on the inside. I was very tempted for these pumpkin lights. They had gold and silver. I would have gone for the gold ones and they had skulls as well, but I did prefer the pumpkins. I did think these little cat ears, the fishnet tights and everything would be great for Halloween dress up, nights out, adult party type things, that sounds wrong but you know what I mean. However obviously this year it's going to be a little bit different. Moving on to Christmas, they had loads of Christmassy bits in already which I was pleasantly surprised with. These adorable mugs, which one would you go for, the penguin or the Santa? I think I preferred the Santa. I also loved these velvet stags. They had one sole green one, which was sat by himself on the end, and I really loved that green colour. Loads of luxury gift wrap for Christmas. These are the sort of things that I'll probably end up coming back for, as are these little fairy lights. They had so many different designs for Christmas themed fairy lights. So I was really impressed with the selection that they had. Lots of glass and white ones, which as you know, is very on trend with my decor. I spotted this Yankee Candle in Candlelit Cabin, which I was tempted to get. Three pounds, not bad price point, but not the biggest bargain. And then they had lots of stocking fillers. I feel like they're still due to get more. There were a few empty shelves, so I think I'll come back and maybe do some kind of stocking filler gift guide type thing with Poundland as we head towards Christmas. Then they had some unique 
finger hand shape things and this mood lamp no not mood lamp moon lamp for two pounds for mood lighting i thought it was really cool actually i uh, don't know how or where i would use it but a good little christmas present idea nonetheless moving on to some yummy christmasy chocolates that they already had in they have quite a variety of price points here three pound one pound one pound fifty so quite a big selection but just bear in mind when you get to the till you might be surprised with that price point not being a pound so just keep your eyes peeled for that Together. Moving on now to the Pep & Co section which we have in this Poundland. We have both the fashion and the new in homeware that Pep & Co do. So I'll move on to the homeware after the fashion bits. I thought this tracksuit loungewear was quite good value. They had loads of colours as well and I loved this beige hoodie for just £8. I loved this Paris sweatshirt. It reminds me of one I've got from H&M with Atelier written on it. And again, at only six pounds for the bottoms, I thought that was a pretty affordable loungewear outfit that you could wear just around the house in these cozy autumn days. Also had a selection of different cozy slipper socks, slippers and just cozy PJs and things perfect for Christmas gifts as well, Christmas Eve boxes and of course some more footwear before we head on to the Pep & Co homeware range which they now have. They have quite a lot of blue accents within this range I've noticed, obviously that's not really in my decor, my style. I always like to keep my eyes peeled for things like these, the whites, the greys the neutral beiges that kind of thing uh, loads of different concrete type pots with plants in and I loved these metal lanterns which they have in both black and gold again the price point for all of these items do vary so just be aware of that check the labels before you take it to the checkout and realize it's not a pound despite the fact that it is of course from Poundland A brief look at the cleaning section, I noticed this sponge that they've got in stock. These are apparently really handy. They call them the ultra thirsty sponge cloth. So for cleaning large surface areas and things like that, apparently it's super absorbent. Let me know if you have tried it yourself. I spotted some of these scented candles from Bloom in a couple of festive scents. And then decided to move on to stationery, which is yet another section that I love having a little browse in in Poundland. Quite often they get new in designs and with this time of year, they do start to get their 2021 calendars and diaries. We all know I love a to-do list and I loved this kind of beige coloured one that they had along with all the Mrs Hinch style crystal jewel pens and they also now have these notebooks which they make from recycled paper. They have a few different designs for you to choose from in pinks, browns, greys and also this cork design. I 
always like to just have a quick look in the gift bag section as well after looking at the stationery and then also the books because quite often they have secondhand books which I have picked up a few of in the past. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself. If you're into DIY, they also have these huge painting tubs, may even come in handy for our new house. And then these chalk finished furniture paints, I think will be great for DIYs. They've got chalk white, antique white, and also summer sage, which I'm having a bit of a sage moment. I do really like sage. Who remembers these from my last year's White Company Christmas dupes? They still have them in stock and they also have them in blue and like a darker gray as well. There was sun and there was rain. I can't go to Poundland without checking out the mug section and I did spot this cute little soup mug which I thought was perfect for this time of year. There's something about a wholesome homemade soup in autumn that is just delicious with fresh warm sourdough bread lathered in lurpak. Oh. There's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. I spotted this ball candle. It reminds me of one I've seen on H&M and I feel like it would make quite a nice decorative piece maybe without burning it and just sat on top of some coffee table books or something. I just thought it looked really design inspired and I was very tempted but did leave it on this occasion. May go back to pick it up. Okay, so I am back from my little trip. It was a success. I might even show you what I got in my car. Yeah, I will. I'm just gonna head to Starbucks first and see if they have the hashtag PSL because it's the season. And if they don't, I might I might actually treat myself to an iced coffee today. We'll see. Either way, it is safe to say it was a successful trip. Successful. Or oh, even picked up a scratch card as well. So we'll see if we get lucky this time around. Hi, do you have the pumpkin spice in yet? Uh, it's the 25th it starts at. 25th, okay. Can I have a small um, iced decaf skinny latte? Yeah, is that everything for you? Do you have any of the banana bread? You do indeed. I'll have a piece of that as well, please. Small skinny decaf iced latte. There weren't any syrup or anything in there, were there? Uh, I'll have some cinnamon if that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Cinnamon. Yeah, is that everything? That's it, thank you. Alright, if you meet your around then. Thanks. Mmm, so this is an iced decaf skinny latte, so that means skimmed milk with cinnamon syrup. So it's a little bit skinny, a little, little bit not because of the sugar syrup and also <laughs> banana bread. Poundland, yay! So I managed to get myself the glass pumpkin. I actually picked up two of them and they weren't out on display they were in a box and I saw glass pumpkins glass light up pumpkins on the box so I said to the guy excuse me do you mind just um seeing what's inside that box so he brought down the magic box of goods and they're all in bubble wrap and everything so nice and protected Um, you pull out the little thing there to activate the LED light and then just switch it on so I think these are beautiful now they weren't a pound but they're only a pound 50 so for for poundland i think that's pretty good they are glass and they feel quite fragile so i'm just gonna pop that back away did pick up two of them just because i thought i was just gonna get the one but then i thought if i end up having it somewhere on display and it needs to be symmetrical then at least i've got the option of two there i also picked up a couple of snacky bits some chewing gum i always tend to stock up on some of these this one is in the cool breeze and then tom is a fan of this chocolate orange so we also really like the crunch chocolate bars which have biscuit pieces in 
and they do this new one now with biscuit bits in so we'll try that tonight and see what we think i'm sure we'll love it i also picked up this three pack of masks and i loved the designs they've got this really nice leopard print one but they also have the black and the plain nude which is my favorite i've been wearing a lot of the disposable ones i find them comfier easier to breathe in as well but they're fairly expensive and this pack of three reusable ones are five pounds so i got them i got myself a halloween mug Woo! i'm feeling all the hot chocolates whipped cream marshmallows sprinkles in this one pound these ones were they are garishly orange which is kind of annoying it would be nicer if they're a bit more toned down or even I was going to say white, but then it wouldn't be so pumpkin-like. So I do like the fact it's orange, but it's a garish orange, let's be honest. I also got this one of all the little mini new in pumpkins. I thought this one was the cutest, obviously on theme with my black and white home decor. And it says, hey pumpkin, how cute is that? And if you didn't want the hey pumpkin, you could always just turn it around and have it white. It is... um ceramic as well scratch card we'll do that in a second and then i also picked up two of the new crisp flavors i've been seeing these advertised everywhere and they're based on like restaurants so i picked up two i think they've got several others as well but i went for the gourmet burger kitchen so these are in classic cheeseburger flavor and then the nando's peri peri ones which i think i'm really gonna like let's give this scratch card a whirl and see if we got lucky this time rarely do but it's a bit of fun isn't it okay fully loaded bonus game let's do this one first match three symbols in a row to win pig no money champagne car diamond no okay <laughs> bonus game scratch a win oh no scratch a star find a star to win and it's a stack of money no win never mind I'm just proving that you shouldn't gamble, kids. They are for charity, those ones, so I do quite like to include that and see it as doing a bit of good for charity, you know? Anyway, that is everything on this little trip to Poundland. I was actually intending on doing maybe some DIYs with Poundland things, but there's no need to DIY when you can pick something up for as beautiful as this for a pound 50. So I will leave a link instead to my Poundland DIYs video that I did last year for like pumpkins and Halloween decor bits because I'm pretty sure everything that I featured in that video is still in stores today and I wouldn't have probably done anything different this year. So yeah, I'll leave that below if you wanted to check that one out. And then I think I'm going to be doing another come to Poundland with me as they get more Christmas bits in because they had quite a few good little stocking fillers and things like that this year. I feel like they're just starting to get the Christmas stuff in. So yeah, I will do another one in the lead up to Christmas. But do let me know what you think of these come shopping with me videos. Give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys!